You know him as the man who brought both Star Trek and Star Wars back to the big screen, but for me, he's always the man who brought Felicity into my heart. Ladies and gentlemen, J.J. Abrams! Hello, hello. Thank you for joining us, J.J. It's, it's remarkable you took time. J.J. flew in just for this night. We're very appreciative. Uh, it is uh, an honor to be here. Thanks for asking me. It's an incredibly important uh, event, so uh, thanks for, for having me. It's great to be here. Now, J.J.'s been a part of incredible projects from Star Trek to Westworld to Alias, but you're gonna be auctioning off something specifically for Star Wars fans. Uh, yes, Jon Stewart. Tonight, I will whisper to uh, one winning bidder the plot to Star Wars Episode Nine. Boom! Boom! Bo oh wait, Episode Nine? Nine, Episode Nine. Isn't, so not the one coming out next month. No, 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 that's The, the Last Jedi, and, and Ryan Johnson directed that, it did an incredible job. Uh, this is the next film, the one that no one will see until 2019. Oh my God, you will know the plot of Star Wars years before anybody else, does. has Disney okayed this? No, they have no idea. <laughs> They're very upset. This is incredible. JJ will tell you the plot to Star Wars Episode Nine. Two years before it comes out, you'll be the king of nerds until 2019. Let's start the bidding. Thank you, John. I can start the bidding here at 2,000. Who will start 2, the bidding? 2,000 dollars. Come on, 2, right there. Look at that nerd. Come on. 3,000 behind you. I have he wants 2, that. Right 4, up there. With the gentleman in red. There's going to be so many new spoilers. At 4,000 dollars. At 4,000 dollars with Come the gentleman on. in the red. Suck it up, will people. Star Wars. 5, nice. Thank you very much. 6,000. Far right. Left rather. John. At... Hold on. What? Hold on, John. Rob Corddry, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> hey, John. Yeah. Hey, Double J. We're up. Uh, this is so fantastic, what great. you guys are doing up here. It is really great. But, but I want to up the stakes a little bit. All right. Good. For the highest bidder, great. I will also tell the winner the ending to Hot Tub Time Machine 3. <laughs> well, that's, that's, that's awfully generous. Very right. generous. I mean, let's be honest. Not everyone likes the Star Wars films. True. It's not for everyone, so this adds value. All right, Hot Tub Time Machine 3, spoilers. Rob, tell the people when it's coming out. Uh, well, we're still in the script phase, okay. John. You know, but had a really good meeting with MGM, and uh, no one definitively said no, so All right. that's a positive sign. All right, that's it. let's get back to the bidding. Come on, okay. Okay, spoilers. 6,000 here, we'll raise it. 6,000 far left. What's up? 7,000, thank you very much. It's 7,000. Against you here, it's here at 7,000. I will sell it then at $7,000. Last chance, fair warning, and selling to you for. S where oh, we got where is that? Up where there. is that? What are you bidding? Here, I see. At 8,000. At 8,000. Will you keep going? It's now here at 8,000. Last chance, then. Fair. 10,000. Thank you. At the back there. $10,000 against you. Big baller. Shot caller. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's here at 10,000. 10, it's against you, madam. Last chance, fair warning, and selling to you, sir for $10,000. Come on up, sir, we're gonna tell you Thank the plot. Let's go, let's go. Come on up. Thank you very much. All right, now obviously, we cannot uh, have you going online and giving away the plot, so what we're gonna do is, you're gonna sign a non-disclosure agreement. Those are stormtroopers. <laughs> sign that real, all right. You're gonna come up, and then they're gonna tell you the plot. What's your name? Carlos Danger. Carlos, oh boy. <laughs> A budding young comic is going to be joining us on stage. <laughs> the Prince, yes, that's uh, correct. Carlos, come on up here. <laughs> Delightful to see you. So glad to see someone so high yet so functional. All right. <laughs> come in between here. Uh, uh, and, and we're going to do this. All right, folks. Carlos is going to hear the finale Episode 9 and the ending to Hot Tub Time Machine. Get spoiling, people! This is gonna be great. Wait a second! Wait a second! Oh, Jesus. Gilbert Gottfried, ladies and gentlemen. Gilbert, what are you, what are you doing? What are you doing? Well, I was so touched by what's happening up here that I knew I had to contribute. You were backstage, that's wonderful. We were... No, uh, John, I was in Penn Station. I was using the toilet. All right. At the hot and crusty. All right. 
then someone said, Gilbert, it's your time for a surprise walk on, and here I am. Nice of you to help us out. <laughs> what do you have to offer? Ah, uh, yes, John, I want to give to this great cause by telling the winner the ending to Sharknado 5. <laughs> it came out this past August, but no one saw it, so it's... It still counts as a spoiler. All right, fair enough. Ladies and gentlemen, episode nine of Star Wars, Hot Tub Time Machine 3, Sharknado 5, spoils. You see, there's a bunch of sharks, and they're in some kind of a tornado, and they're having group sex with that blonde guy from 90210, Ian, but he likes to call himself Ian, because sharks love guys named Ian. So Ian teams up with Fabio Geraldo and that bald asshole from Poison who always wears a bandana. They team so, up, anyway, so they do a shit movie so they can I keep like their SAG insurance. Then, then we so cut to we Ian in his apartment crying himself to sleep, to the, muttering, we how the young, fuck young, did I end and, up and in Sharknado 5? I used to be on the cover of Tiger Beat magazine. Now I'm getting paid scale to blow a shark. While Geraldo and Chris Catan watch, then it comes All right, ladies and gentlemen, the spoilers of Sharknado 5, episode 9 and Hot Tub Tungy. Thank you guys very much. Congratulations.